2,803 persons have been killed in 12,502 road accidents from January to November this year. 12,766 others sustained injuries in accidents involving 20,195 vehicles. According to the Motor Traffic and Transport Department of the Police Service, there are strong indications the figures would exceed the annual national average. According to statistics, six people die each day in Ghana from road traffic accidents with drink driving, speeding and motorcyclists riding without crash helmet being the topmost contributing factors. Road accidents claim 2,341 lives of which 795 were pedestrians last year. 2,803 persons have been killed in 12,502 road accidents between January and November this year. 12,766 others sustained injuries in accidents involving 20,195 vehicles. The Motor Traffic and Transport Department of the Ghana Police Service has blamed the increase in accidents and deaths to indiscipline on the roads. Accidents are on the upsurge during Christmas and other festive occasions due to several factors including drink driving, speeding and non-adherence to other road safety regulations. Five persons died when a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter bus collided head-on with another minibus on Christmas Day at Mount Kuma on the Bole Solar Highway in the Savannah region. Many other victims were sent to the Bole District Hospital for treatment. According to the Motor Traffic and Transport Department of the Police Service, there are strong indications this year's figures will exceed the annual national average. Let's go over the phone and speak with Engineer May Obi Yewa, who is with the National Road Safety Commission. Thank you, Madam, for joining us on Media Live on TV3. So we're hearing 2,800 people were killed in accidents between January and November this year. And we're, we're told this is an improvement over the figures we recorded last year. There is 2,800, I think 86, not 2,800. Okay, and that's an improvement on what we recorded last year? The period, uh, the same period last year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what, what, we did, what did we do right and what did we do, do wrong, looking at the period in question? Yes, in the same period last year, it was better, but I don't think we did well because 2,000 people dying between, uh, within 11 months is too much. All along, we've been recording around 2,000 for 12 months. And so to have gone to 2,000 over within 11 months, I don't think we did well, even though it's better than last year. No. So um, there are so many things we are putting in place. One is to train drivers on high risk roads. So those drivers that are riding, or uh, that's commercial drivers, I mean on a high risk road, Accra, Kumasi, Tamale, Accra, um, what, um, to the western la uh, side, uh, Lubo, and then all the way to Aflao, and then other highways that we think are dangerous roads, we, we are training the drivers, but most of them have been trained already. And we are hopeful that with the knowledge we have given them, when they go on the road, they'll do the right thing so that we can save lives on our roads. Mm. We have also sent out our staff, that is um, our permanent staff and also those from the NAPCOP who have joined us and national service all over the area. So everywhere we can find people to give them information about safety so that we are safe on our road. Mm. So mm. these are some of the things we are doing with the hope that people will listen to what we are saying and do the right thing on the road so that we can save more lives this year. How, how would you describe the collaboration between your entity and the police and making sure that they are up to the task, especially in checking road carnage? Okay. Within the regions, we have a task force that is the police, DVLA, and ourselves. So all over the regions, we have this task force. Then the training that we are doing is in collaboration with DVLA, police, and the uh, Ghana Drive, that's the Association of Driving School. To do that, so um, we are collaborating very well with them, with the hope that uh, the as much effort that we are putting to it, 
people will understand the need to keep Thank you very much for speaking with us. Engineer May Obi is with the National Road Safety Commission.